Good morning. It is April 26, 2020. It is quarantine day. Uh, we've lost count. Uh, Steve is in the building today. He's laying down in a pew at a social distance. He's in the back there operating. Well, he's not operating anything. He's laying down. He said his back is sore. He's had a busy work weekend. So, hello. that was Steve, if you heard him. He said hello, everybody. Uh, we are here, and we are still offering these two books. Jesus wasn't talking to you, and things I have learned, things I have been taught from the Bible that are not true. And we will send them to you free of charge if you send us your physical address that we can mail to, snail mail. So send us your snail mail address at info at ohiogracebible.com, and we will send you one of those or both, if you wish, free of charge. So we hope you're all doing well. Um, depending on where you're at in the world or in Ohio, uh, quarantined and following the rules laid down by your president or state or province or whatever you are, uh, whatever district you're living in, in the states or around the world. So. We're going to go ahead and get right into it today, and uh, if you would, if you have your Bible, you can turn to 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 5. Grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ, that in everything ye are enriched by Him in all utterance and in knowledge. So I want to tell you a story um, during this time, we had, we had some, uh, a good friend that passed away. And in teaching our children grace and truth, uh, we were at a dinner table, and my daughter decided to, it was her turn to pray. <clears throat> and we try to teach them to be thankful in all things, according to 1 Thessalonians 5.18. We're also trying to teach them that grace and peace is offered to them as well. Uh, this has proven to be difficult sometimes, especially now, and be because I have to check my emotions uh, as well when exhorting them, especially in this time, with all the questions that go involved with the virus. They call it the virus. Have, you know, they talk to their neighbor friend across the, the yard, and they say, have you heard about the virus? Yes, we know about the virus. And so the questions about it and when it is going to end uh, how long are we going to have to stay home? Uh, why can't we go to the park? Why can't we go play? And so all these things, um, dealing with that and, and trying to help children understand and even trying to uh, deal with it on, on our own, sometimes can be difficult. Uh, it seems we have to it reiterate uh, on a daily basis, what are we supposed to be doing and why? Uh, we do our best to help them understand we should be wise in, in how we act and, and what we do, and, but also not to be controlled by fear, and we're trying to teach them that as well. And so this can be sometimes a delicate balance. So as, as my daughter was uh, praying, um, she, started, she started praying, and she was asking for God to give... Uh, our family members grace and peace. And it, it made me realize maybe my, um, my not my, my misintention, but maybe my failure as in, into helping her understand that the, the offer of grace and peace, um, the amount of grace and peace cannot be added to. So let me, let me, re, let me uh, help us try to understand this a little better. Let's, uh, let's turn to 2 Timothy 1.7 real quick. <clears throat> okay, 2 Timothy 1.7, 1739. So this is talking about the fear part. So, for God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of sound mind. Be, thou, be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of the Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God, 
who hath saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. So the grace is already there. Uh, the amount of grace cannot be increased. That, the amount of the offer of grace cannot be increased upon. The amount applied can be added to, as in the amount applied to your account. It's kind of like going to the ocean and asking God for a cup of water. God, could you please just give me one more cup of water? The amount that He has provided, the amount of grace that He has provided for you cannot be added to. Similar to the, the cross. Um, he has done the work. He has Everything that is needed is there. You cannot add to it. You cannot uh, do anything for it. So the amount that He has offered you in grace is so abundant that when you go and say, hey, can I just have one more cup of water in the ocean? And scoop up and then you go back and say, can I just get one more cup? Yeah, take as much as you want. It's there. It's, it's, it's freely offered. So I want to I just reiterate that that is something that I'm, I'm working on trying to teach my children. And when we, when we lose sight of that, when we maybe ask for, if you could just give them a little more grace. He's given everything he can possibly give. I think we just need to remember that we should be thankful for it. Um, we, should we should be praying that maybe our, our family members or those who are suffering from uh, COVID-19, uh, help them to remember that that grace and peace is there, that God has offered that. So my goal after, after hearing my daughter's prayers to help her uh, and help maybe just be reminded that to teach that uh, the amount offered cannot be added to just like the cross of Christ. Our thankfulness uh, and a prayer of understanding that grace and peace is given daily uh, just as freely as the salvation of cross of Christ is given to those who believe. That, that doesn't change. That You cannot add to that. So what I'd like to encourage you is to continue to look for opportunities to share the gospel of the grace of God to those who are in need or are suffering from this, uh, from the COVID-19. We live in a time in history that even though social distance, uh, social distancing is, is kind of now applied to us, and uh, we can use the tools offered, like the internet, um, even like the mail. I mean, writing in a note to somebody to encourage them and to help them remember that, the, that grace and peace is still given to them, and it is still offered. And that, that is something that cannot change. Um, it's not this COVID-19, the, the virus that's going around, it's not judgment from Jesus Christ. It's not judgment on your life if you have it. Um, the grace and peace still applies to everyone, even those who get the virus. So I'd like to, uh, to keep that in mind. I'd like everyone else to keep that in mind. Uh, we hope you're all doing well. We hope that uh, you're using this time to uh, study God's Word. Uh, in a time of struggle, we can either, you know, use it to increase our knowledge, uh, increase our, our understanding of God's Word, and um, so the difficulties that we go through can either be used for the, to strengthen us or to, to pull us down. So we hope, we're, uh, we hope you are using this time to, um, to grow in grace and to remember that... Um, God still loves you. He's still offering grace and peace. And uh, we want to encourage you to keep that in mind. That's all I have for today. Thank you.